good luck to let this go. But actions have consequences. Just handyman f***ing on my hardwood floor. This is European. Oh, my. So beef was quite a wild ride, pun intended. <laughs> what was it like creating that visceral dynamic between the two of you? It was fun. It was really fun. Yeah, it was actually, it was surprisingly warm. Um, oh. Yeah, it was like, like in between, in between takes, in between um, setups, it was just like us really coming together in close ways, bonding, and um, it was a very safe and, and like welcoming environment that kind of created between us. And that then allowed us to just like go at each other on screen. And that's, that's so fun. That's quite a contrast, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, because I think when you look at the show, it looks like, you know, it seems at first like these are going to be about two people who hate each other and who are enemies, but it's really about, you know, as you can see, you've watched the series, two people who really connect and are seeing each other for who they really are mm -hmm. and accepting it and, like, really letting each other see, you know, each other at their most vulnerable moments. So... Yeah, and so, like, I think just as important of, like, having that, like, tension is really having that connection. Because tension can be really connecting, too. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, it was cool because, like, Allie, in, in her gracious ways, and, and we, we would reciprocate this, is just, like, you know, we're kind of saying, like, after we duke it out on screen, which feels very real, you take a cut and you take a break and you're like, hey, I, I, I like you. <laughs> you know, like I really, and th and then it's then you're like, cool. It feels safe. Like we're playing, we're playing now, and yeah. that's fun. You know. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, speaking of that kind of connection that you guys had, there's that moment in the finale where you both are intoxicated by the berry, and you have that really warming, psychedelic heart to heart. Um, what was it like filming that scene, or those multiple scenes? <laughs> It was fun. It was fun. We're, there were so many. The one on the rocks, yeah. the one with the oatmeal in our mouth, or the oh, one where we're lying down with branches on top of our bodies. <laughs> Which, Which one? one? <laughs> All so of was it? that the oatmeal that made the vomit? Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. oatmeal with I think turmeric in it. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, it was it was fun. It was it was like having a conversation and like we were in it and it was it was you know, we shot it at night in in like the early early like two a.m. three a.m. and so um, I don't know, felt felt very real. I do remember like in one of the scenes where we're tripping out that you like we did one take and you tried it and you were like hugging your knees and you're sort of shivering. Do you remember this? No, I don't. You were like sort of like shivering and you were like you were like really afraid. Oh. And then I was like. Oh, we're doing that? I, like, I don't know if I can do that, all of that. I was like, and I was like, uh, and then, and then we found like another level. But like, it was you was so real. Yeah. When but, you did, but it scared me. But it was also so perfect how you played it too. I thought that's the thing that's so fun is like they're such opposites. Is like, Amy in that in that condition is just also just like chilling and trying to like keep it together and like do her thing and Danny is yeah. his scared child is just like get me the fuck out of here yeah. I'm so scared <laughs> but like I you really it. like transformed and I was oh. like into like this whole other state and I was like oh we're going there like I didn't I was like I don't know if I can <laughs> and I was like oh, can I give my <laughs> <fish> shiver <laughs> up <laughs> Yeah. It completely worked. It pulled off really well. I really enjoyed mm -hmm. the episode. It was my favorite. Oh, good. Um, oh, my gosh, Sunny, Sunny will be so happy to hear yeah, that. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that was the first um, episode of television he ever directed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? Good bang up job. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, Beef is one of those, it really rare shows in the sense that it's a, one of the few shows that we see on mainstream TV where there is um, East Asian, predominantly East Asian cast. Um, and it's not necessarily focusing on the East Asian culture, but it's really embedded in everything. What was it like to film that in the sense of what did it mean to you to have that out there in mainstream TV? Well, I always, I mean, it is really exciting, you know, when when we have, um, when you have like a, 
predominantly Asian American cast because then all of the people get to be people, mm -hmm. right? It's yeah. not like when people will talk about our show and refer to us, our characters, they won't say, oh, the Asian one. They'll say, oh, you know, the one who has, who was in jail, who has a lot of menace. Like yeah, you yeah. get to be a complicated human being yeah. and just like creatively, but just also how you're being talked about, mm -hmm. which is, uh, which is so wonderful. Yeah, it was wonderful. You know? Um, and then it allows other people to connect to that human being too. There's no like barrier of entry. Um, it's like kind of like going into it so deeply that you kind of come out the other side and you're like, oh, I'm for everybody. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. Is Isaac dead or will he return in a possible season two? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know there's a season two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you hoping for it? Obviously, you're hoping for a season two, right? We're just trying to get through, you know, having the show out and see yeah. how it's received, honestly, you mm. know? So, yeah. yeah. We like we like the closed loop of it, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that connection at the end, but yeah. I'm going to go into one question first. Yes. Um, can you, um, Ali, break down that sex scene that you had with the older man like, what is with the spitting? What is with her lying about the age? And what is with that scary witch staring back at her? <laughs> Ooh, that, those are all questions for Sunny. Yeah, all questions for Sunny. And uh, what's with the spitting? What's not with the spitting? <laughs> and then, um, yeah. But what did it mean to you as you developed that character? It's just that Amy has a lot of shame about, like, when she when she says in the finale, I don't want anybody to see me, you know, and so so many people desperately want to be seen, and she's like, oh no, I really don't want people to see me, and that's one of those things that she doesn't want people to see, you know, yeah. that she she wouldn't she that's something that she, she wouldn't even tell like a best friend, probably wouldn't write even in a journal because she'd be too scared of someone reading it and finding out, and that's why she has the blanket over her head, like she's. She's hiding, and even in her wardrobe, like Amy would never wear something like this. Her wearing mm. all of those creams and neutrals and whites, she's hiding, mm. you know? So that's all part of that. Would you say that comes out in the complicated kind of sexual relationship, the relationship she has with sex, like even with the masturbation and the gun? Yeah, oh. and I wouldn't even call it like problematic. Like I would just say mm. that it's like, it is what it is. But for her, she can't, she doesn't feel comfortable with anybody seeing it, you know? Yeah.